What is going on guys, Bangle again here, coming back at you with another episode of Jaguars Franchise. Yeah, I'm gonna say the inevitable, we're gonna get this out of the way. We got throttled in the last video, it was just like, bad turn to worse, it was like one thing compounded, and things just got completely out of hand. We got murdered, 66-14. As I mentioned, I had played that game, and the complete uh, file was completely corrupt of the gameplay it turned into seven hours 78 gigabytes worth of file for some reason so that was less than ideal so we got murdered but we could be 1-0 in that but we're not we're 0-1 yeah 666 14 this is not a series you're gonna watch for amazing gameplay uh which i don't think it'd be as fun if it was personally but you're not gonna see 66 to 14 ever again i'm telling that's the only time that exact score will ever be in this franchise no kidding right but i don't think we're gonna get beat that bad uh ever again we're gonna be better this week we're going into tennessee we're facing the titans it's just it can't go like that again man i can't deal with another 66 14 i wanted to end it all however if you are new here on that happy note go ahead hit that follow button nope this is not twitch hit subscribe as we are coming up on 200,000 subscribers. I know a lot of you guys are probably watching this episode or not subscribed. Give me a chance. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on a Jaguars franchise video and all the other franchise stuff we do on the channel. And I got to make a decision. Do we want to go man coverage? Do we want to boost his man? Or do we want to make him a more balanced overall corner with the ability to play, you know, in multiple different defensive setups and do so successfully? I think we're going to go into zone. We just need him to be better in that in that role. We can't just be only man, and we can only run man to be successful, you know? So with these cornerbacks, we got to play not to their strength, potentially, but when they're so uh, new into the league and they're such a low overall, we can really mold them to be whatever type of player we want. So we're going to make C.J. Henderson more of a zone-style corner because we're going to stick to mainly zone. And for Gerard Wilson... He's a free safety. We're going to get his zone coverage up as well. Josh Jones is not really a cover player at all. What are his coverage ratings this year? 63 and 58. Brutal. He's a linebacker. That's what Josh Jones is. He's 6'2", 220. We could honestly play him in that role. We could play him in a sub-linebacker role. And he would be, like, still not that good in coverage, man. Uh, let's, go, let's go with run support and maybe... Boost him maybe more into that role. He's up to a 70 overall, or 69 somehow. Nice, but plus three to zone there. I'll take that. Do we want to make Josh Jones an outside linebacker? We have Quincy Wilson. I don't know. It might be worth playing him a significant amount of the time. I'm not sure what we want to do there. I like Quincy Wilson, or Williams. Quincy Wilson. He's not a cornerback for the Colts. I've been saying that a lot this episode so far. Quincy Williams. But Josh Jones is probably a decent overall at outside linebacker, and he's 220 pounds, so it's not like he's you know, like like unrealistically light for the for the position. He'd be light, get, don't get me wrong, but he wouldn't be unrealistically light, like 210. But that's interesting. That is an option. Maybe he would work as a sub linebacker in some different packages. That's something we'll experiment with maybe at some point. Maybe bring him in in certain packages. He'll play in like dime packages and whatnot. But let's go ahead and jump into this week's game versus the Tennessee Titans. We are playing on the road. We got to face Derrick Henry. And if last week is any indication of what might happen, Derrick Henry's going to run all over us. We just don't stop the run at all. We'll have to see what happens. Mike Vrabel is getting hyped up. Nothing's happening. The game hasn't started yet. What are you doing? All right. We're going to skip this little uh, preamble to the game. We're going to jump right into it. Kicking off here as Josh Lambeau is ready to start another week of pain versus the Tennessee Titans. Let's see if Adam Humphreys can do anything on the return. Hopefully not, and he doesn't. Takes a knee. They're going to set up shop at the 25. Decided to go no safeties in this particular setup. We are running man coverage, even though I said we wouldn't be doing a whole lot of that. It's starting off great. Corey Davis came over on like this end around type play and it was really really unsuccessful which is what you want to see going to the flat and I mean Derrick Henry is going to be a tough player to wrap up I went for the hit stick with Quincy Williams and then tried to wrap up and the first two tackles didn't hit didn't bring him down thankfully there was another guy close to uh to wrap him up 
But it's third and short. We went to the sideline there. Janu Smith steps out of bounds, but he got the first down. There was just like not enough speed from our linebacking core to shut that play down. There was really nothing we could do as this is going to be a run. He's coming back right at Quincy Williams. We can't disengage from the block. It's another easy pickup for Derrick Henry. This time it was his first carry of the game. Second touch. And it's going to be it's going to be a lot of that probably. We might have to come out with like five defensive linemen. I'm not sure if we have a 5-2 package in this playbook. But it's like, we just can't cover these guys, man. They're, they're moving too quick. We don't have even near the speed. We do have 4-6, which is not going to be a five defensive lineman front, but it'll get more guys near the line of scrimmage and in position to potentially make a play, especially if we can collapse the defensive line down. I'm trying to, and they're not doing it. Going out the middle. That's a huge tackle. Miles Jack. Love that. We're going to go back to uh, the zone here. And that is wide open over the middle. I t Maybe man is the move because our zone is just getting picked apart. And, like, you know, that is the risk with zone coverage. You're really not going to allow the big play so much. But you can get dinked and dunked upon because of the uh, holes in zone coverage as Derrick Henry breaks a tackle. Is he immune to hit sticks? That might be his special ability. We're going to just have to wrap him up the entire game. All right, I'll stick in man coverage against Henry. We might even blitz here. And down goes Tannehill. It's Timmy Jernigan. His second sack in back-to-back -back weeks. Third and 16. That's why man coverage works. Because if I'm on the running back and the running back stays inside the block, we can just easily go after the quarterback. Is Derrick Henry's in motion. And that is somehow a catch. Are you kidding me? Khalif Raymond makes that play. Unbelievable. Actually, I mean, I mean, are, are you serious right here? And of course they get into field goal range here. And that one is actually going to be tailing and off the post. We are on offense for the first time. Gardner Minshew, shotgun. Chenault in the slot is going to be our primary target. We're going to get the ball to him. Nice little pickup there on first down. Moving past midfield. Second 11. Oh, and they just, nothing was open. They got in way too quickly. Jeffrey Simmons. We're going to have to deal with an in, I guess. And that's, that's our best option. Chenault, go up and get it. Can't bring it in. And we will be forced to punt. I mean, there was nothing we could do there. Coverage is way too tight. We got sacked. We had no time. Nobody got open. And that's what's going to happen. So the best punter on YouTube is back with a punt. This one, not really having the distance that we want. Doesn't really go far. We need our punter's kick power to get higher, man. What, what are these weak punts? It's like, yeah, I can kick it 30, down, or 30 yards downfield and that's it ridiculous like in man coverage they're just going to make contested catches and in zone coverage they're going to get wide open there's really there's really and i say this nothing we can do and I, I gave that up but he made a contested catch this is all madden again another year of a quarterback on the cpu can't throw an incompletion it's not possible we got two guys covering the same person and finally an incompletion i'm not even sure how he threw an accurate ball despite being thrown to the ground Going to the corner, and of course, it's going to be caught. I mean, we just talked about it. It's impossible for them to throw an incompletion, pretty much. I mean, what is this? I keep questioning it, but, like, this is hardly fair. I'm going to wind the entire game. I'm bad. Yeah, dude, let me stop that one. That's all skill is, is being mossed every single time he throws the ball if they're not wide open already. It's another end around. Have they had success with that in practice or something? Because, wow, that's a terrible play. They still managed to get one yard somehow. You got to wrap up here, and we get juked out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I hate this game a lot. We're just going to man blitz and hope somebody makes a play. Run up the middle. We're wrapping up. He's still getting two yards, but that's good. If we just blitz everybody, he's got to make a quick decision. I don't even know if that benefits us because they're going to be wide open. Oh, big tackle, Miles Jack. It's going to be third and what, five, four? Third and four. He still managed to fall forward for yards. We need Miles Jack to make a play. We can't cover, we can't cover three guys. <laughs> 
Johnny Smith with yet another catch today. Titans go up seven to nothing. And my thoughts here, if this is what an 80 overall quarterback can do, imagine playing a QB in the 90s. Like they're gonna, they're not even gonna throw an incompletion. They're gonna get extra completions on one throw. That's how overpowered it's gonna be. They're gonna throw one pass and it will count for three completions for 40 yards. It'll just maximize whatever they did previously. I mean, I don't know if I'm not making sense there. Uh, three yards so far in the game for us. That was a great play. I pressed triangle, but I guess they had other plans. We're gonna throw the ball or run, hand the ball off. I'm, I'm going delirious because I, I, this game just pisses me off a lot already. D.D. Westbrook dropped the ball. It was inaccurate. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just not fair, dude. My receivers drop the ball frequently. The CPU doesn't drop a pass. My quarterback throws the ball inaccurately, frequently. Their quarterback can't throw an inaccurate pass. Yeah, I just held on to the ball too long. Oh, instant shit. Do I have to use her the D-line to do anything? Is that just what it is? I mean, of course, they still converted very easily. But, uh, Jesus Christ. I mean, that's what it is. If I use her the D-line, now it becomes unfair in the other way. <laughs> oh, man, it's just so dumb. The CPU doesn't shed manually. The only time they do anything is, uh... Is when you're using them, and then it's too easy. There's just no balance. There should be natural pressure. They shouldn't be able to stay in the pocket for six seconds. Coverage should be okay at the very worst. On occasion, I mean, it's not impossible for any cornerback or any defender on our team to play well in coverage for one snap. As we're down at the six. Second and 11. Oh, we actually got a truck. We didn't get anything, by the way. We lost a yard. We have, what, one yard of total offense this game? We started from the six after the punt. Again, there's nothing I can do. I know this is, this is just me complaining again. That's the entire series. And l l let's see. I got the first down. Let me guess. He held. What do you want from me, dude? My mid-80s center fucking holds on, on third down as we convert. There's I, there's nothing I can do. Jesus Christ. It's another flag. Be roughing the kicker. Please. Yes. Yes. I love roughing the kicker. Roughing the kicker is my favorite. We're back on offense. Rolling out Minshew. It's Minshew Mania. Vanilla Vic. Merch. Link in the description. He fumbled. Teespring. Link in the description. Vanilla Vic. Minshew fucking sucks. How is his foot not out of bounds? They keep the foot down if it's a throw. Yet all he has to do is tap the sideline with his toe and he doesn't and he fumbles. I ran out of bounds, right? We got sucked into an animation from here where he stops running. 11 can't believe it. This is a penalty, by the way. These are all penalties. You cannot be on that part of the field on the white. That's a penalty. Throw a flag for fucking that. Yet Minshew here. Listen, we've seen that already in this series. Already in this series, be marked out of bounds on a catch. Yet when he's running, ah, it's a fumble. He's in, he's in bounds. This game. Over the middle, Miles Jack made a play. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. On third down, we got to stop. And it's a deep field goal. He missed from eight yards shorter earlier on in the game. And this one is no different. Completely shanked it. 
I don't know why I caught that. We're just going to go ahead and take a knee there. Yeah. So we're going to start at the 47. Not going to bother taking that one out. Interesting. I didn't, like, last year they wouldn't even let you catch it there, by the way. So that was kind of a test. Yeah, they read that screen really well. And uh, you're going to be shocked by this. My fucking offensive lineman didn't block. It's only the whole point of running a screen is that the offensive linemen have to get out and block, and they did none of it. Can I throw that to Chenault, man? No, I can't. I just got to throw it away. It's intentional grounding. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think I could get it to Chenault. I didn't think I could get it down the right sideline. It's third and fucking 26, dude. Oh, my God. This is so painful. Chenault up the seam. He actually caught it! And it's gonna be a touchdown! Let's go! Uh -oh. LaVisca Chenault! First career TD for LaVisca. And we're tying things up at seven. Oh, I'm like actually getting high blood pressure. There's another flag. I feel like there are a lot of roughing the kickers this year, dude. I've seen three of them in two games. It's going to be assessed on the kickoff as we start from the 15. Not that this is going to matter too much. I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, shorter power on that from Lambeau. And we'll see if we can just get underneath this. Uh, we're forcing return. That is the perfect, perfect, perfect kick as they start from the 16. I'm covering that so well. It doesn't matter because Joe Schobert didn't do his job. And Corey Davis with a big completion. Ryan Tannehill has 14 passes at over 140 yards passing. Quincy Williams is on the ground. That's over the middle and complete. Uh, you'd think the hit stick would actually let me hit him, but we fly right past. That one may be more on me than the rest. I felt like I was lined up and uh, just didn't stay on him, which was really cool. Heat Seeker is a... Uh, not useful, apparently. Heron Henry, they go ahead and uh, breaks a tackle, falls forward. I slur my words because I uh, am a 75 year old stroke victim. You shed that block, please? Nah, he's not going to. Miles Jack, does he have 30 blocks shed? I haven't seen him shed ever. Tannehill on the run. I'm R1 ing, man. Rip the ball out. It's the quarterback. Uh, he played wide receiver. He takes the scene. Man, I don't care. I, I, give me an animation when I'm pressing R1. Strip the ball out. No one thought to maybe cover that. I mean, what play did I choose that had someone sitting on the far side of the field? We had we had deep zones. Uh, Jesus. I mean, figure it out, dude. You can see him open on the goal line. Tannehill. Touchdown. I'm so done, dude. I'm so done with this. <laughs> this is so bad. I mean, I'm I'm calling audibles to get in a different offense, and Cam Robinson thought that would be a fine opportunity, fine time to uh, go ahead and false start, setting us up for failure already as I roll out to nobody and, ha and have forced to throw it away. Third and 15. I'd be shocked to see this work in any capacity. Hopefully somebody gets open. We're going to put Eifert on a uh, on a deep, deep, deep out. And they're blitzing heavily. No one got close to open, by the way. No one got even an inch of separation. And I'm forced to punt again as they blitz as heavy. My punter might have six kick power the way we've played so far. I mean, look at where he's kicking it to. It went from the 20 to the 40. I have gone out and tweeted a complaint about uh, playing on all Madden again proves to be absolutely intolerable, which it is. Uh, you guys can go ahead and follow me on Twitter for more banger tweets like that as uh, we had a linebacker lined up against A.J. Brown and Joe Sharp. That was uh, pretty brutal. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Links are in the description. Twitter.com slash Bangla YouTube, dude. Never, never a, a dull thought on there. Jesus. 
Should be a touchdown. CJ Henderson can't run with a tight end, apparently. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this up. A tight end. I know John Smith is a fast tight end. But he's a tight end. CJ Henderson, what, ran in the four threes? Can't keep up with a fucking tight end? Great half of football this was, man. Totally fair. Love all Madden. It doesn't absolutely suck the soul out of me every time I play this shit. I'm swearing a lot. I know. I apologize. It's a little bit over the top. I'm extremely frustrated, if you could not tell. Especially since in the last episode, I got beat 66-14. Dude. It's not just the Jags, dude. It's not just the... Like, no football team is this bad. We cannot run the ball. We cannot throw the ball. We cannot make a stop on defense. I feel like... Oh, man, we can run the ball. Chris Thompson's gone. Every time I start talking huge shit, we actually do something. Chris Thompson, touchdown. I don't believe it. Touchdown, Jackson. Oh, it's 76 yards. What a play. I mean, unreal. We actually got a block, and, and wow, crazy we did something with it. Shocker, and there's another flag. Let me get running into the kicker. Roughing the kicker. Why does that keep happening? I can understand a fair criticism that, uh, too much complaining for me. I get it. I get it. Which is a complaint, but still. Um, I, I can't just, like, sit here and get anally probed by these Titans and be like, man, I'm having a blast. He threw the ball immediately. That's a pick if I do it. We just have no awareness at all. Like, they have no clue what's happening. And of course, John Smith holds on. I didn't mean to hit stick there. Not that it matters. He would have ran through me. I mean, did you expect anything else? It's CJ Henderson in coverage on a running back, Derrick Henry, known for his receiving prowess, of course. And he makes the play. He has seven catches for 64 yards. Another one completely in traffic. We're only down two touchdowns. But the problem is that happens a lot. Five rushes for negative five yards. I'll be releasing a video on slider changes when we find a good balance. But, I mean, until then, I think these games are going to be fairly brutal. And, like, e even that, man. Even that. I go to my check down in the flat, and the ball takes him out of bounds. It's third and ten. Is this painful for, for anybody else? That's my best shot. Chenault holds on! Oh my goodness. This game is so, so weird. 81 yard touchdown for LaVisca Chenault. I mean, I don't know how that's caught. I don't know how that's a touchdown. I'm not complaining. We're working our way back in the game miraculously. I want to say maybe man coverage is the answer because at least, at least it's closer. Like, we're still getting killed, but at least we're closer to them in coverage. I don't, I don't know, man. Wide open. Yeah, I mean, maybe man isn't the solution either. I don't know, man. It's like choosing my own damnation at this point. Like, what's a worse torture, man or zone? They each, they each are going to get me killed either way. Jack, please make the tackle. Lord, that's a shock and a half. That's on me. I got confused. I got confused. I didn't know where the ball was. Camera looked, made it look like it was a run. It was not. Like, listen, I know my offense could be better this game. I could do things that would make us more successful, even though we can't run the ball. Uh, I could probably choose some more, like, short routes and check downs that are going to be more effective. But... Defense in this game is inexplicably bad and inexcusably terrible. It just shouldn't be like this, man. Oh, we got a red zone sack. No way. Taven Bryan made a play on third down. Thank God, because my edge rushers have done nothing this game. And they, they have a dog shit right tackle, by the way. They drafted Isaiah Wilson in the first round. I'm aware of that at the end. But I think it's, is it Brian? Not Brian, Wilson. 
And then Brian Price? Is it Brian Price who's their starting right tackle? I'm Googling their depth chart. No, it is Isaiah Wilson, not Brian. Dennis Kelly was who I was thinking of. ESPN lists, uh, lists Isaiah Wilson. I don't know if that's the case in the game. But, like, we can't get any pressure from that side at all. Not even a little. I honestly haven't even been sacked that much this game. I'd like to throw the ball out more quickly. I guess that's what I have to do. That only gives us three yards, though, which is tough. It's third and 11. They're blitzing clearly. Now, what do we do to pick this up? Thompson. Thompson's going to come over. I was planning on Eifert being an option. I don't know if he's going to be. Here's the blitz. Can I fit that in there? D.D. Westbrook? No. Under pressure, inaccurate. It didn't look like there was a lot of pressure there. I thought we had time. All right. We are down by 10. Eight minutes to go in the game. They're passing the ball. I got I got away from Henry. That's totally my fault. When it's on me, I can accept that. When the, but when, you know, the other 10 players in the field don't do anything well, that's when I have a, you know, a tougher time, you know, dealing with it. It's a tougher pill to swallow. And this fucking, let's go, Titans. Let's go. And I'm here in the background is really annoying me as Timmy Jernigan gets his third sack of the game. I don't know how he's getting crushed. None of the edge rushers are. We have Josh Allen and Caleb on chase on is out there doing nothing. He breaks a sack, still going. Josh Allen got half a sack on it, at least. First time that he did anything. Who got the other half? Was that Taven Bryan who got in there? And another sack. This time it's Miles Jack. Mike Blitz got in there. Big play. We can still come back here. Second and seven, Chenault. I'm gonna... Gronk spike my controller in a second here. How do you guys want me to make a comeback like this? I know, I know, I know I suck a lot of the time. I'm so aware of it. I'm so aware. What am I supposed to do for some of these, man? Should I just freak shit all here? Put Eifert on an out. That's, that's the most open DD Westbrook held on. Thank you. I have six completions this game. Six. Here's a blitz. How do we handle this? Let's get a drag as an option. Single high safety. I'm going to have to get rid of the ball probably fairly quickly. Inside. Chenault. He dropped it. St please hold on. They, they catch everything. Catch it, please. Second and ten. Slant him, maybe. I don't really feel like that's open. That's open across the formation. D.D. Westbrook with room to run. Man, Kenny Vaccaro took, or Kevin Byer, excuse me, not Kenny Vaccaro. Kevin Byer took maybe the best angle of pursuit I've ever seen there. We got PA crossers. We're going to put Shark not deep. He doesn't really do anything for me there. He's going to get dragged. Eifert. Eifert can be on and out. I mean, Shark was open. We have triangle, kind of. We could throw it, but I want that one. Lead him upfield. Tyler Eifert down at the eight. I didn't want to lead him upfield, but he was doing it. So I'm like, let's let's just go with it. And it worked out. And I'd like to be able to run the ball in these spots. It's like, oh, you're not running the ball enough. We have five carries for negative five yards, man, with Leonard Fournette. And he's our starting running back. That was a bad time to truck, but it kind of worked. Finally positive yardage. Now six rushes for two yards. We need to pound this in. We need a touchdown now. And Chris Thompson's checking in the game. He's not exactly my goal line back, man. Chenault, drag. It's open. LaVisca Chenault, third touchdown of the game. Here in week two, not only did he get his first career touchdown, his second and his third. We are going to put this within a field goal if we convert this extra point and we do just that. 31-28. We're still in this game somehow. 80 yards in under three minutes. That was perfect. We're going to need to do a very similar thing next year. We have three timeouts. We need to stop. Badly. And that's a completion. 
feel like there's not really a point to use a timeout there. Tannehill's going to throw for 400 on us if he wants to. I don't even want to say, hey, just run the ball because I feel like that could be equally as bad. Yeah, up the middle. They're going to take this to the two-minute warning. Again, not a whole big reason to call a timeout here. We're going to let it tick down. We need an actual stop. Up the middle is wide open. He takes it outside. 21 doesn't do anything. CJ Henderson, what are you doing? What are you doing, CJ Henderson? <laughs> Just please try. Try and tackle him. Try. I'm going to cry. It's a pitch left. And he just runs right through him. We have to start calling timeouts now. And we have to come out in goal line. And I mean, they're still going to just run it down our throat. I mean, I could go... I go 60 pinch. I don't even know how to run commit in this game. They kind of changed how, how things work. So this could be really bad. Tight end in motion across the formation. It's going to be a run left-ish. Henry broke a tackle, but we made a tackle. Loss of two for the Titans. We need a stop here. Field goal keeps us in it. They're bringing out three wide receivers, which kind of concerns me. Shaq Quarterman can play a mid-read. It's a run. He bounces out wide. It's a touchdown. That's likely going to be the game, boys. 40th career rushing touchdown for Derrick Henry. We loaded the box heavy. Nothing we can do. We need a lot of yards really quickly. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna be okay with giving us some of this. Can I get that to Chenault? I couldn't. I mean, I that was a that was a blind read. I watched it the entire way. I just felt like it was better than checking down with one timeout. It is what it is. We we're down by 10 with uh, under a minute to play. We had to go the length of the field again with one timeout. It just wasn't going to happen. We did we did our best, man, but uh, it was, that one was uh, pretty tough. And that is the ball game. They didn't even knee it for some reason. They said, "Ah, oh, we're going to knee it once and then come out and run the ball." So the Jaguars are going to come out starting 0 and 2. We made it. We made it a game. Lavisca Chenault had an unbelievable performance. Three touchdowns for him, but again, it just it just wasn't quite enough. Yep. I mean, we were completely dominated. Completely dominated. And they only averaged 6.9 yards per play. Nice. That was uh, very tough. Derrick Henry dominated us. Chris Thompson had a huge breakaway run, though, which was very nice. You'll take that. Receiving, the story of the game for us was LaVisca Chenault. Four catches for 165 and three TDs. Unreal stat line. Unreal. Three receiving touchdowns. He had all of them. Joe Schobert, DJ Hayden, Miles Jack, all with all with double-digit tackles. I mean, they were just picked us apart, dinking and dunking. There was nothing we could do. We were going to get a lot. Timmy Jernigan somehow had three sacks. I guess also he goes by Tim now. One and a half for Taven Bryan, one for Miles Jack, half a sack for Josh Allen, and a pick for Kevin Byard at the very end of the game. I didn't really throw any interceptions. I don't know, man. I don't feel like I was like too terrible this game, but I guess I get my thumbnail in the, in the video. We get upgrades, and uh, we're going to go ahead and spend those in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I know I complained the entire time, but uh, sometimes that's going to happen. However, we have the easiest game of the schedule. Maybe, maybe even that's tough because week three and week four, I think the Dolphins are still worse than the Bengals. The Bengals uh, made a lot of free agent acquisitions, but well, this is the easiest game we're going to see here in week three. We're going to be going over scouting and more coming up next in the next episode. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy.